It's 8 a.m. in the morning and we are currently in the carpool ride with three others on the way to Singping. We've arrived in the Singping ancient town. I swear to God, once we've arrived, there'll be so many of these tour guides they'll try and take you on their tourist package and there's one who just keeps on following us from the entrance all the way to here she's right beside me I don't know if you can see her but <laughs> yeah that's the one after I took out my camera she started to scoot more towards the corner <laughs> as we we're walking around I realized that most of the shops are all closed I think this place is more alive during the night so maybe we'll come back here at night to check out the place. In the meantime, we'll head off to the docks and get a boat ride. We've just made it out of the Singping ancient town. And Jesus Christ, she's still here! Oh my god, she's been following us since we entered the, the district. Oh, she's so persistent. I mean, like, this is truly, truly hardcore marketing. She just doesn't give up. <laughs> She's now haggling Queenie now. <laughs> if you don't know, Queenie and I, we are pretty tight with our spendings. So good luck trying to convince us on your package. Five yuan, right? <laughs> if there's anything that Queenie loves more than herself, it's money. So instead of going for the tourist uh, raft, we got on a local raft which only costs like 5 yuan per person uh, when we got off the taxi one of the passengers actually told us actually recommended us to find one of the local guys to to get us over for 5 yuan I highly recommend that you purchase your tickets from that too kind elderly person it's only 5 yuan per person so they'll take you across the river to an island where you can explore it by yourself the original price for that motorized raft bamboo raft cost about 160 Seven, about 170 for two person um, but the kind old lady she offered me 40 yuan per person to take us along the same uh, cruise ride but you know because it's a local price you can you can sort of bargain yeah uh, but Queenie and I don't really want to take the motorized uh, raft much less go on this route because it, it really looks the same so we want to experience it on the, the manual manual rower which is further down along the river the a tinier town can't remember what the name is but we'll be heading there soon right after we take our money shot as you can see everyone aboard this ride is local well except us but seriously look at that the surrounding karst mountains and vegetation makes it feel like we're heading to a tropical paradise We have made it to the other side of the town. Be sure to bring sunblock, cap, sunnies, umbrella, whatever, because it's so hot here and there's very little shade. But if not, uh, it's still very hard. I think you still need more time for it. Has any one of you ever seen how a pomelo tree looks like? This is it. <laughs> Imagine you're walking and then this ball. <laughs> I swear you'll not get anything like this if you take the tourist path. We're currently standing on the riverbed 
it's the drought season in China, so the, the water is currently very shallow. And I think it's because of that, a lot of the, uh, the motorized raft are out of commission. And according to the lady at the tourist center, it's because the government restricts, uh, the government restricted a lot of all this um, motorized rafting. But yeah, we're gonna see if we can find some fishes in this shallow waters. Instead of fishes, we came across an ancient relic. While we're still looking for the spot to take the 20 yuan scene, uh, we found the undying fisherman. What? He's still alive and still entertaining tourists. Yes, believe it or not, it's the same fisherman on the 20 yuan note. I should definitely get his secret. Maybe it's the laid-back lifestyle, or maybe it's the beautiful sceneries. Back on the other side, we headed off to our next destination, in search of the one and only legendary money shot. Want to know how to get here? Well, all you have to do is subscribe and follow these two experts. We just made it back to the main island and we are now going to a secret place called Li Jie Restaurant. And it is said that over there, you can get the authentic shot of the 20 yuan note. Let's go check it out. There are two Li Jie restaurants in this tiny county. If you see this one, then you're at the wrong starting point. How do we know that? Don't ask. This is the correct starting point. Go behind it, you'll see a car park and a bridge. Cross the bridge. Don't be distracted by the beautiful scenes on either side of the bridge. Cross the bridge and turn left. Keep walking. If you see this vegetated path, don't be sidetracked. If you see a flight of stairs leading you astray, resist the temptation. Just follow the road. Walk till you're at the point of exhaustion. And that's when you arrive at your destination. Huh? We're finally here and you have to join the queue to get that scenic shot. <laughs> this is damn epic. Queenie's trying to get a perfect view. And... Wanna look at the line behind us? What? <laughs> Okay, let's get out of here. Now does this scene looks like it's worth 20 yuan? Well, maybe. So we took a raft, walked around the island, went to the 20 yuan scenic area. Uh, we're gonna take a break now. The weather is such a bus queue. So goddamn hot. No, maybe we know if <laughs> because the weather was so goddamn hot, we decided to head back into our hotel and rest up a little before hiking up our next destination to catch the sunset. By the way, this is the beautiful view from our hotel room. Quite the scene, huh? Yeah, I know. We're at the peak of Lao Zai San. And the view here is magnificent. Look at that. You're supposed to see the Y shape of the river, but I think it's all dried up now. So it's only flowing Wait, through one I direction. I need to wear my shirt but still, my we're here for the sunset. And the silhouette of the mountains at the background is just absolutely amazing. But it's pretty scary up here. That's it guys for this Sing Ping episode. 
Thank you for joining us. We hope that you have enjoyed it. Now, just a little heads up. Because Singping is a popular tourist destination in Guangxi, everything here can be quite expensive. But aside from that, fruit farms, rivers, and the majestic views will make everything worth your time here. But in the next episode, we will be splashing into the exotic Kong Island in Yangshuo by a traditional bamboo raft. So be sure to check that one out. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe and stay so thirsty.